This is the great legend, and I'm coming at you live tonight, fans, with a special package from none other than Otisify. Simplify Comic Guy, man. Simplify Comic Guy hooked me up with a package. And I'm opening opening the package live tonight. Now, fans, Legend ain't done no live videos lately. Legend's getting a little old, you know. But if you watch the show, you've seen some awesome Legends live auctions. But we have not returned to our normal schedule broadcasting yet. But whenever I get a package from a special someone, we unbox it here on the Great Legends Show. And I'm talking Simplified Comic Guy. <clears throat> Hands down, the one guy I've seen do more AOKs for people, more random acts of kindness, more regular acts of kindness, special packages. Uh, that's been Simplify Comic Guy. And he got me a package today, and he was so excited uh, when I talked to him. He was very excited. He didn't even want me to do a video, and that's just the kind of guy he is. Very humble guy. He didn't want me to do a video. He just wanted me to open this thing up. He said, I probably got it, but he said it's really high grade. And, man, you know, my old boy g -Pap from 1809 says, hey, a low grade is better than no grade, but when you can get a high grade, you got it made, and that's what we're going to have here tonight on the Great Legends Show. Special package from Simplify Comic Guy. Now, if you're looking, I'm, I got my Winchester. You know, a man ain't complete without his Winchester pocket knife. Uh, <clears throat> now, you see down below as I unbox this uh, with my knife here, You, we got some uh, video links. We got some, uh, not video links per se, but we have the uh, Simplify Comic Guy's YouTube channel in the video description <clears throat> down below. So definitely check that out, and you're going to see a, a channel with great t content. And uh, he has a lot of uh, giveaways and things like that, some trivias. Um, he don't make as many videos as he used to, but he's still a big part in the comic book community. If you're a member of some of the Facebook groups like All About Comics, Kyushu Comics Facebook group, <clears throat> the Mega the Mega Church of Facebook groups, the Blaster Stash Facebook group, you're going to see <coughs> Vince's name <coughs> in those comments and taking part in the discussion that goes on week in, week out, 24-7 in the Facebook group pages. And uh, Simper 5 plays a huge role. Simper 5, one of the founding members of the Blaster Stash crew. I got to serve with Simper 5 <coughs> in the Blaster Stash for a little while when we were uh, rolling on that channel. I'm since uh, retired uh, from the Blaster Stash live shows. And Vince is also retired as well. So we're like two old geezers, two grumpy old men. Oh, damn. All right, I just kind of took a peek. And I like what I see in here. <laughs> I'm still kind of sick, so I'm not. I'll make it pretty quick. <clears throat> oh fuck yeah! And you know what? I don't have this. This looks so freaking amazingly. <laughs> this guy, he's amazingly sweet. He said, "Rob, nothing crazy special about this issue number." But a book this old in this grade, and it looks to be very good plus, possibly even a five, maybe even a six, maybe even a seven. <clears throat> because, you know, the grading companies, they're pretty lenient on grading uh, of these older books. And, hell, even if not, I, I love this book. Oh, man, beautiful cover. Um, I'm going to show you all this. This is amazing. This is so amazing. Um, nothing crazy, he says, but... Thought it was cool. I wanted to hook you up with it. You probably already have it, uh, which I don't. But hopefully this one is uh, an upgrade, uh, or it could even be a reader. Thanks, and take care, Vince. And in the bottom it says, you've been simplified. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. He is the man when it comes to these uh, these things, you know, these uh, AOKs, these special packages. Let me uh, take it out of the tape real quick. And it's in a fucking archive. Um, a lot of times I get books in archives 
that are of the golden age stature. I'm going to show you in a minute. Beautiful grade. Beautiful book. I do not have this. I'm going to do some research on this. You can actually get these books for fairly a, uh, a decent deal just because a lot of people don't know about these books. All right, there's tape on the archives. So I'm just going to leave the tape on there. Check that out, people. King Comics number 55. Coming at me live right here, right now on the Great Legend Show. I've been simplified by the man, the king of simpers. Well, there's tape all over this thing. I'm going to be very careful when I pull this out of the archive. Look at that book there. Man, that's a good looking book. Golden Age. Oh, dude. Beautiful artwork. Yeah, I can see about a 4.5. Got a little little slight tear in the cover, but that's that don't hurt nothing. Not one bit. This is a beautiful book. Oh, Thimble Theater reprints from the original Thimble Theater. E.C. Seeger. Oh, man. Look at the Man, this is sweet. Okay, so let me show you a little bit here. So in this book, this Golden Age book, this also stars the Lone Ranger. It's got a Lone Ranger story. Um, King Features. You get a little bit of everything in King's comics. This is from 1940. So you get a Lone Ranger story in there. Uh, God, the smell is amazing. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, dude, this is awesome, man. I got a guy that does um, that's going to be doing some restoration. I may have him seal, tear seal that cover right there. And this bad boy will be good as new. Now we have some Thimble Theater. That's beautiful, man. Starring Popeye. Um, Flash Gordon. By Alex Raymond. Get some Flash Gordon stories. And what a lot of these are, these are um, things that were printed in uh, newspapers. But they're um, all thrown in there. Oh, fucking Sapo. You gotta love Sapo. Oh, I love the Sapo stories. I got a lot of those on the IDW reprints. Sapo is like a guy that does cool inventions. King of the Royal Mounted. Oh, by Zane Gray. So you know it's going to be a Western if it's Zane Gray. One of the uh, prolific uh, uh, 20th century Western authors of our time. You put him in Louis L'Amour room, they'll probably gun, gun each other down. Oh, I love this, how they used to do these. The Wizard of Way Up. So you get, um, they're not comics per se, but just fictional stories. God, this is so pristine. You know, this this probably is a 4.5. Just a beautiful book. Barney Baxter, which is uh, in the air. It's by a guy named Frank Miller. Now, this most likely is Frank, the, not like Frank Miller we know, but an original Frank Miller. Barney Baxter. They're uh, air combat stories. Or are they? Are they just training? Uh, I don't know if they're air combat or what they are. Very freaking cool book, though. Rick Bradford. That's awesome. Rick Bradford's kind of like a guy that looks like, uh, you know, he's right there and he's going to town on some islanders. Who is that? Henry. <laughs> Henry uh, bringing up father so a lot of these are King Comics we got little Annie Rooney man so much goodness in this book so many stories so much history this is amazing man. Vince I don't know how you get these good books man but that's what I'm talking about Radio Patrol News and Pictures Radio Patrol, Sentinel Louie, Sentinel Louie. Dude, look at the back of that. Look at the back. 
full color illustrated ad for the Red Rider BB gun. Again, there's the book. Um, just a little slight uh, little bill on the cover there. You know, kind of a right there. But freaking beautiful book. I mean, the gloss is still there. The smell is there. This is phenomenal, man. Freaking beautiful. Yeah. King Comics number 55. Starring the Lone Ranger. And we got Popeye in there as well. I'm going to put this back in here. As safe as I can. I actually need to get some more. Um, I need to order some Golden Age archives, you know. I need to get some Golden Age archives and some Golden Age backing boards to just put my Golden Age books in. They really freaking pop. And I need to get a, uh, you know what, I usually will put these Golden Age books in a, uh, in a magazine short box. I got a magazine short box. I actually got about five of them, but only one I'm kind of filling up right now. The beautiful book by Semper Fi Comic Guy. Let me put that down and uh, put this over so I can check the chat. I mean, Vince definitely didn't have to do that. I mean, but that's the kind of guy he is. He watches all, you know, he doesn't comment on everyone's videos, but he does watch the videos in the background. He knows what people likes out there in the comic book community. Like I said, uh, he gets the stuff that he knows uh, you're going to like. I mean, so if he watches your channel, you better watch out because you will be Semper Fi. Let's check the chat real quick. We got five watching. Thank y'all so much for spending uh, the night a little late. Mr. Rockfish, my friend. Now, I, I think you're the guy, but I've got a package that's going out to you. I need to print the shipping label on it, but it's going to be in the mail tomorrow. i got to print it out and get the thing where they come and they pick up, you know, they pick up the packages. You know, they come pick up all my packages. So my mail person is going to be coming tomorrow to, uh, you know, deliver some packages to everybody out there. Um, who won some Legends Live auctions and, you know, some other stuff. So that's what it's all about, man. Let me let me get some love. So I got um, Mr. Gresky 9966. I got Mark Four Comics in the house. I got Drew Manchu. Yeah, man, rest in peace, Legends Beard. It'll be back. Um, the next La Legends Live auction is going to be mid-April uh, just because I'm going to that con, and that's going to be April 1st. So it'll be... Uh, that third one, which I I, I want to believe that's going to be on uh, April 15th, right at the mid-month, a beer to be back, man. So a lot of greatness here from Vince again, King Features, King Comics, number 55. Um, just awesome. They were competing at the same time, I believe, with Dell Comics. Um, they got this bad boy as a very fine, which definitely, it would be a very fine. I just don't know how uh, that would take the grade down a little kick-ass book man kick-ass clean as all get out beautiful book um and that's right man drew it is white pages we got half show heroes chris in the house simplified gave me my very first aok ever and that see by him doing that one event for omg chris for uh half show heroes that set a catalyst in him because omg i would have to say is the is the second most giving in the YouTube comic book community. Definitely has got to be. And then I'd give third or fourth. Maybe to Alex Comic Quarter or Don Comic Book Junkie. But beautiful. Uh, the, the way uh, people treat each other in the community. By sending these surprises. These goodies. That's just amazing. It's an amazing thing to do. And like uh, You don't really see a lot of that anymore. Which is pretty shitty and sad. Because we're not going to be on this earth much longer. Well. I'm probably not going to be on here, but maybe, uh, you know, probably 12 more years. 2029, man. That's when I think my ticket, Freddie, that's, that's when I'm, that's when I think I'm punching out of this uh, earth or uh, this area I'm in. And I think I'm going up to heaven by 2029. That's just kind of my own personal belief. But I think I'm out of here. So I've probably got 12 more years here on this earth 
before I go up from heaven with uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 2029 is kind of what I'm banking on, just with all the other shit that's going on. Shit that a lot of people don't see, but I kind of see things in a different, uh, different perspective, if you will. And I can't even get into it because it'll blow some of your minds away. Then other people will be like, what the fuck is he talking about? You know, they, they won't even see anything. But man, we also have, not only we have Drew Manchu, we got Brian Space 227. We got Mr. Rockfish. He is in the house. He's getting a package pretty soon. Should be if it goes out tomorrow, two to three day. He's in Cali. Cali usually dicks over there. Sorry, uh, uh, Rockfish, but it'll probably be three days. You'll probably get it by Friday. But what better way to make a video on Friday night unboxing a sweet ass CBCS graded 9.4 He Man Thundercat Foil convention exclusive? And I got one of them canker sores under my mouth as well. Hitting it hard. But yeah, man. And we have Captain Cold Comics. He is here. He's saying Vince is a great guy. And again, I totally agree with you. Vince is the man. I mean, King Comics 55. This is my very first King Comics in my comic book collection. And Vince, man, I thank you from the bottom of my heart, man. I ain't got no King Comics, but I got some now because the King, a.k.a. Simplify Comic Guy, he did testify and he sent me the King Comics issue 55. And our daddy 95 is showing issue 55 as I come at you live. Still sick. Got the damn sore under the lip. Ah. Uh, yeah. Right there. Canker soil. Right there, Earth no right there. Hurts like a motherfucker. So huh, I'm gonna let y'all go. If y'all didn't know, I'm heading on out. That's for the show. I'm gonna come back live. I don't know when, maybe mid April. Man, I kinda like chilling, man. I like this kind of like relaxing, hanging out. You sometimes will be able to catch me on uh, Key Issue Comics on Tuesday or Saturday night. Um, whenever LP, uh, NBK Drifter, Larry Higgins, whenever he does Thursday Sidewalk Slam, I'm always going to be there. Or at least I'm going to damn well try to always be there for LP. That's about all the legends up to, man. King Comics, man, 55, coming at you live. R. Daddy 95, great legend show. And uh, I got some stuff to unbox and all that kind of thing. You know, I got some packages, blah, blah, blah. But I'm trying to not um, do too many unboxings, you know, like filling up the feed. I want to I wanna keep my videos special for you, the viewer. And uh, AOKs and special packages from Simplify, that's something special because he didn't have to do that. So when people do real nice things for me, I'm going to make damn well I do a video about it. I'm going to talk up their channel. I'm going to praise their channel. He's got an excellent channel. He's got a shit ton of comic knowledge. He's pretty good. I say he's pretty good on the speculation. I just don't really know much about the spec stuff. But, but you know, I watch his show and he clues me in on something good to get. I may buy a couple copies. I don't know. Normally I try not to, but I bought a bunch of them fucking up. Uh, Green Lantern, Planet of the Apes, so Showcase 22 variants, just because I really like that cover, but I may flip some of them down the line. You know, who knows? But man, this is what it's all about. King Comics, Lone Rangers, Popeye the Sailor Man, let's check it. Good Book Legend, ooh, LOL. Um, Brian's messages in the house. <laughs> Space Boy's getting retracted, rejected up in here. But I just want to, I'm just kind of rambling right now, but man, thank you again. Uh, Simplify Again, my friend, thank you so much for this. Uh, this is an honor to get this sweet-ass book. This is one of the books I like to kind of sit down and show my dad, and we kind of read through it together. He'd get a kick out of this because he, was, uh, he wasn't even born yet. <laughs> so, hell yeah, man. For Simplify, oh, testify, comic guy. Wait, er. No, that's right to left. So you got to er, er. Is that left to right? Yeah, that's, well, left on right, so er. Uh, uh, that's the cross, right? Uh, the left to right. Simplify, comic guy. It is what it is. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. This is the great legend saying peace out. God bless.